In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Remedy Management Console that was introduced in version 1805 to view logs from any server in a server group directly from your browser. The classic server information form provides a similar feature on the logs tab, but with the limitation that it can only show files from the server that it is running on. This means that if you're using a load balanced server group, you need to set up and use bypass URLs for each AR server that you want to read the files from. This becomes increasingly complex and time consuming as the number of servers increases. The Remedy Management Console link on the application's flyout menu is used to launch the AR System Server Group Console, where you'll find the View Logs form under the Logs option. The form allows you to choose the server you want to view the logs from and the file to view. A selection field provides quick access to some of the most frequently used files, but you can also enter the name of any file that is accessible in the logs directory. Use the Get File button to retrieve the log, and you'll be able to see its size in the table before using the Display button to open it in a new window. Let's see how this works with a demo. To open the form, go to the Remedy Management Console, AR System Server Group Console, Logs, and then View Logs. Here we can see the form. The server name box at the top gives us a menu of available servers. We've got the selection fields of common files that we may want to, to retrieve and view. So let's start by picking the AR error log from one of our servers. Use the Get File button and then Display to have a look at its contents. We can now switch to the other server. Pick one of the files and again click on Get File to download it and then Display to see its contents. So we can do this for any log that's in the DB directory. We could have a look at one of the ones, for example, that isn't listed. Maybe a SQL log, Java plugin log, or in this case, the AR API log. Enter the name of the file, click on Get File, and then Display, just as we have previously. So now, rather than having to go to each server individually, we can click, just go to one form, and have a look at any of the files that are in this directory without having to manually download them. You can do searches for errors, for example. A much quicker way of debugging than having to go and fetch the files directly. You may be concerned that perhaps this would be a security risk and expose access to other files on the server. So let's try and access something outside the directory. Here we get an error. So we're only allowed to see files that are part of the AR system DB directory in this case. And this is set by the common logging root path configuration in the centralized configuration settings for the server. So that's a brief overview of what's available using the view logs form and the remedy management console. In summary, the view logs feature of the remedy management console makes it easy for an administrator or support person to access logs from any server in a server group without having to worry about which one they're currently connected to. From a single form, they can easily switch between servers and fetch any of the files stored in the logging directory. Whether debugging workflow or just checking for recent messages, there's no longer a need to connect directly to each server using mid-tier bypass URLs, remote desktop clients and shells, or file transfer programs. By default, the largest file that can be viewed is 512 megabytes, but this can be changed by setting the max get log file size option in the centralized configuration settings for one or all of the servers. Finally, there's more information available about the other features of the console in this BMC Tube video.